OK, that was the Shido Echo with Stranger and Me. And uh, the next uh, guest I've got is no stranger to us all. It's our Prime Minister, Mr Bob Hawke. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ten years. Well, uh, congratulations to you, Molly. It's been a, a marvellous achievement uh, to you and all the production team. There's a lot of people behind the scenes. And uh, I want to congratulate you on the, uh, the innovation, the energy and the excitement that's been involved in it. It's by and for the young and also, I guess, for the young at heart. It's been tremendous. Well, I must say, I mean, I never... People have been asking me about, did you think Countdown would go for ten years? And just prior to ever putting Countdown together, I was still working for a magazine, a rock magazine called Go Set. And I did an interview with you uh, at the Trades Hall just in, uh, in Ligon Street. Oh, yeah. Did you ever imagine then you were going to be Prime Minister? Oh, I wasn't sure. <laughs> no? I guess. Did you imagine you were going to have done 10 years of no, Countdown? No, no way. No way. Not with yeah. the ABC, anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's I, thought, another... I thought they'd toss me out after the first show. That's another question. <laughs> All right, now, listen, another thing that uh, is going to be very exciting for, for, for 1985 is uh, International Youth Year. Yeah. And uh, I uh, would you like to explain it? Because uh, yeah, it's going to be a very exciting time. Thanks, Molly. The United Nations has made 1985 uh, yeah. International Youth Year, and that's very appropriate. We have already started to act on that. We've set up a, a national uh, International Youth Year Coordinating Committee, yeah. and they've uh, made the slogan, Creating Tomorrow Today. And the thing that I want to make clear and emphasise, and I know we'll get your support in it, is that we don't want to be organising it. We don't want to have the old fuddy-duddies and right. imposing it from on top. We want the young people of Australia to make their contributions to the year. And so within about a month there will be hotlines created in every capital city, Molly, and I know you'll uh, stimulate that on, on your program and get the young people to ring in give their ideas so that we can really make it their youth year because, right. uh, well, if the future is the kids. We've all got a responsibility to do what we can for it, but we, we really want the young people themselves to, to participate so that 1985 will be seen as a year in which we really committed ourselves to making a better future for the young people. Right now, as, as, as you said, uh, Countdown will be involved with this and in about four weeks' time, We'll be announcing the radio stations uh, across the country, which uh, which everyone can uh, ring in, which will be the hotlines. Yeah. And as I say, through 1985, you've got your chance. And look at them all now. They're all know. different sizes, all yeah. different types, yeah. and all different looks. Yeah. And uh, you've got your chance through International Year, uh, Youth of the Year to at least say your piece to, to the government, which could is great. I, and could I just say that the theme of, of the year is uh, participation, development, and peace. Right. Now those uh, three uh, themes I think will touch a chord in all young people so I do appreciate that uh, you're going to help us Molly and I wonder whether could I present you with the t-shirt, the International Youth Year t-shirt. Certainly. Okay. Well listen we've had some highlights in our time and uh, I must say it's been a highlight and I will with this uh, when we announce the International Youth Year. We've had some highlights and especially through your time the America's Cup uh, men at work yeah, uh, with Down Under on well, America and in England. Yeah. And I'd like to present you with something. And right. I, everyone asked me for a, a Molly's hat, right? Uh, and I always said, I said, only the Prime Minister could ever have a hat. Oh, so Molly. I'd like to present you with a Molly's hat. <laughs> How about that? OK? Thanks, Molly. <laughs> now, listen, um, <laughs> there's, a, there's an election on, uh, in December, early yeah. December, and uh, over the years, we've had our chart busters, and your polls are pretty high. So let's have a look at some of the more memorable chart busters. Thank okay. you, Mr. Hawke. Thanks, Molly. Thank you. Hey, chart busters! <laughs> <laughs>